Hello everyone, before we get started... <sighs> Alright! Alright! You got me to calm down this time. In the wake of United not going to the playoffs, Braves got kicked out of the playoffs. You managed to help me calm down this time. Alright! What you gonna do moving forward? Mariota, you still need help. You're still looking shaky. But great for you. Great for you. Let's see what you're going to do the rest of the season. I'm feeling good, though. Not we're going to the Super Bowl good, but good enough so I don't have to damage my voice again. And uh, hopefully I don't damage it this time. You never know. We'll see. I'm here. Let's freaking go. Hello everyone, I hope this show finds you well. Welcome to the Brandon Dilworth Show. This is a show of sense and smack and where props are always welcomed. Just make sure you're not bringing them to a debate. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But speaking of carrying something, I do have something to carry, it's not a prop. But it is some feel good content. So let's rock and roll with that. If you ever wanted to be hit with a blast of nostalgia, there it is. That's the old original OG Xfinity remote. That last button saved my life and if nothing else, this one enriched my life with the things that I wanted to watch and all the things that I had no business watching. So there is your blast of nostalgia. I watched that debate with um, Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock and candidate Herschel Walker. Some parts, it looked like they could reenact for Saturday Night Live. I mean... <sighs> I don't know what to say. Seems like candidates are trying to lose. That's one and two. It seems like everybody wants to make Georgia the number one most embarrassing state in the country. <sighs> you know what's funny about that debate? What's funny is Should I answer? It's you know who, folks. Well, Lord help me. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, this is Santa Candy Herschel Walker. I want to be sure I'm talking to Mr. Dilworth. Am I not? Yes, this is him. You know, Mr. Dilworth, it's great to see you. God bless you. I know the stuff you've been saying about me on your show. And let me tell you something. I mean, okay. Rap, you know, an inch okay. Of this life okay. That hold debate. on. Hold on. Let me, sir. Let me be respectful. Yes, okay? sir. You are respectful. It was no winners or losers. It's, it's just you explaining. It's I was the winner. debate is basically. I was the winner. I was the winner. You can't you tell your. And you should see me in the MMA career. I was like. Pew, 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 pow. 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 I just need it. Well, I need it. Hold on. Hold on. If you Man, you about to get hung up. And that's not very nice coming from a guy for your man. Come on. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to help you out. I am trying I am trying to help you out. Well, how are you trying I'm to trying to understand out? one thing. Why would you bring a prop sheriff badge? At the debate. That wasn't a prop badge. That was a call. It was a prop badge. badge. You probably badge. got some kids or something. Oh, funny, funny thing you should mention about my kids. You know, I got some hot chocolate, sat down with Christian, and Donald was involved. You, you didn't know about that, did you? I, I probably shouldn't tell you that, but Okay, let me tell you, okay. I, we we going to play that game, right? I'll tell you about my We're going to play that you. game. Look, look. I'll tell you, you about You sound, okay, okay. You're going to, uh. Run for the, you're running for the Senate, right? You're a candidate. Yes. You have aspirations of being a public servant. Saved by grace. And a God-fearing one at that, too. Well, let me tell you something. A public servant, okay? No matter what deity, no matter what religion that you, that you 
hold yourself to, no matter the relationship with God, no matter of that, you have to make sure. And, and the Bible will tell you that too. You have to make sure that you got to tell the truth. Okay. Hey, look, no one is perfect. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> is he doing what I think he's doing? So are you crying? <laughs> so, okay. 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 Hold on. Uh, Okay, look, I'm gonna have somebody else is calling me. I will get back to your call. I promise, okay? I promise. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm answer one call. It won't, it won't be long. I promise, all right? All right. Hello? Hello, this is Brian Polterkin. Is this Mr. Dilworth on the line? And that's worse. <sighs> yes, this is him. Hope you will, Mr. Dilworth. You know, I've been in hot and set for the debate. I hate every minute of it. But, I just want to let you know that I've been seeing the stuff you said about me, talking about me on your little show, and just so you know, you might be singing a different tune once I be Stacy again, and be your governor again, and oh, you're going to have a lot to talk about me. Georgia is number one in working right now, and I'm make sure Georgia is right. number one in the most embarrassing state to live right. in. I mean, that sounds US like an interesting this opportunity. Country, it this seems God like an interesting state. strategy that you have for your campaign. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question, all right? So, I'm actually recording right now, and you do know people are going to hear your voice, right? So, you're technically not hiding. Hello? Well, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, sir, sir, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, as I was saying before, I got interrupted by that call. We are not perfect, okay? One point where we know or not, we're all sinners, okay? We've had to repent to God multiple times. We've had to pray that we don't make the same mistakes over and over and over again. And hey. Nobody's perfect. Right. I mean, I'm certainly not perfect. I can count on, I can tell you a list of mistakes that I should have never, ever made. But the thing about it is, you can grow from them and you can learn from them. Yeah, you right. All right. You right. So man. it's okay to <clears throat> it's okay to put yourself out there because the fact is, and you know, as someone who suffers from anxiety you know as someone who suffers from anxiety you have to make sure that no matter what mental state you're in that you have to make sure that you don't ever make the same mistakes again you have to make sure of that because you know part take care of your mental health is learning from your mistakes and making sure you don't repeat them and you know I've had to learn that you know multiple times so it's all good Thank you, man. You wise beyond your ears. Yeah, man. It's all good. And you know, I'm gonna do the right thing by my family and by myself. You gonna do the right thing? Okay. And what is the right thing, by the way? I'm still one percent. He's right beyond war. Our votes for Joe Biden, nine six percent of the time. He don't defend our military. He don't defend anybody. I'm one hundred percent for the people right, of Georgia. Well, uh, well, I'll pray for you on that. Uh, yeah, man, pray for me. I'm a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. I tried to help him, people. Nobody's perfect, you know. I guess you want to stay being X straight nine, so. I'll let him be that. Lord help us. You know, I can't tell you how many times I felt overwhelmed, anxious, less than how I should be. And I do these segments to not only help people out, but to hold myself accountable as well, because I do mess up. Uh, granted, though, I barely watch my shows when they're released. <laughs> the thing is, we all get stressed at some point in our lives with work, school, trying to improve our lives, and even trying to look for such uh, entities. Uh, just be sure to take it easy in the interim of working hard and be careful what you watch and listen to. After all, 
The mind is nothing to screw with. And that's the only message for you. That's one for me too. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the show. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And click on the bell. Until we meet again, don't forget to love yourself and one another.